people of Nephi, there will be no Christ. Huh? Can you see the future? Of course not, and neither can Jacob. What about Christmas? Are we doomed? Nonsense! You're God's chosen people. You're special. You already have everything you need to be cool with God. So, how are we saved? You have the law of Moses. That is the only way. All Moses, all day, every day. Christ will surely come. My beloved brethren, repent and enter in at the straight gate and stay on the narrow path until you obtain eternal life. Oh, be wise. What more can I say? Farewell. <sighs> Ah, Brother Jacob, I'm here to help you and the people get back on the path. And you are? I am Sherem. Now, despite Jacob's efforts, the people are slipping into sin, making them vulnerable to deception. Enter Sherem, on a mission to overthrow Nephi's relatively new teachings on the doctrine of Christ. Many are persuaded by his flattery and articulate speeches. He's Mr. Smarty Pants, and he knows it. And so he goes head to head with Jacob, eager to shake the faith of this special witness. He attacks in four ways. Brother Jacob, I've heard that you teach the people to worship some being you call Christ, who you say will come hundreds of years from now. You're leading people away with false doctrine. I testify that Christ will come. Do you deny Christ? If Christ existed, I wouldn't deny him. But he doesn't and never will. Nobody can see the future except me. I know that he won't come. You pervert the ways of God. The law of Moses is the right way. Do you believe the scriptures? Yes. Hmm then you don't understand them. They all point to Christ. All of the prophets spoke about and prophesy of Him. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I know that without Christ's atonement, we'd all be lost. Oh yeah? Show me a sign by this power of the Holy Ghost by which you know so much. Why should I tell God to show you what you already know to be true? You'll just deny it, because you follow the devil. But it's not up to me. If God smites you, it will testify of his power in heaven and earth, and that Christ will come. The Lord's will be done. <laughs> Oof, Sherem didn't see that coming. Several days later, he isn't getting any better. He knows the end is near and asks for the people to gather for the ultimate deathbed confession. I was deceived by the power of the devil. I'm afraid I've committed the unpardonable sin. I've lied to God, denied the Christ, and said that I believed the scriptures, but they actually testify of him. I'm doomed. After Sherem finishes talking to the people, he dies. The people feel God's power and fall to the ground themselves. They repent, and Jacob is grateful that his prayers are answered and that the people are back on track. Yay! There are countless paths that veer off of God's straight and narrow path of truth. The devil doesn't care what you believe or do as long as it takes you away from Christ. Just listen to these antichrists for proof. Live all of the commandments. It's the law of Moses and our obedience that saves us. There is no Christ. Educate yourselves on the law and obey them and you'll be rewarded.
<laughs> There's no need for a law. God loves you exactly as you are. You don't have to do anything to be saved. Eat, drink, and be merry. You're perfect as you are. You be you. How quaint. You're both talking about this God. There is no right or wrong or God watching over you. No life after death. It's survival of the fittest. We each make our own way. If we're better, richer, stronger than other people, <laughs> we win. Oh boy, these guys are terrible. Today, some claim that the church needs to change to accommodate the world, or whatever the current trend is. These people may even believe they're doing the right thing. Remember, Sherem was deceived by the power of the devil and thought he was doing good by correcting a prophet. Jacob's dad, Lehi, saw the mists of darkness all around. We probably see them too. With false doctrines and lies all around us, how do we avoid being deceived by today's antichrists or becoming like them ourselves? Well, it takes more than just a belief in Christ. Jacob's foundation is rock solid with the scriptures, the prophets, and the spirit. He is unshakable because he puts in the work, including studying, asking questions, pondering, praying, living the gospel, and serving others. And just like the mighty prophet Jacob, we too can be unshakable. Did you know that Living Scripture Streaming, kind of like Netflix for LDS families, provides the funds to create these line upon line cartoons? Every subscription helps make them possible. It's a family-friendly streaming service that only lets in virtuous, lovely, and praiseworthy films. And yes, we have over 5,000 of them. You'll not only be able to teach with our classic animated Book of Mormon, Bible, and hero movies, but almost all fun and inspiring Latter-day films are there too. Get your free trial right now and click the link below. And the best part is, you know you're not only funding these videos, but also shows like Latter-day Kids, Latter-day News, and many more. hope this presentation has helped to bring you a little closer to Jesus Christ. Now it's your turn to study and continue to learn line upon line. So go read your scriptures.